Hello everyone. Welcome to this video about the mock response payload generation for API prototyping in WSO2 API Manager. My name is Vinula Utsara, trainee software engineer at WSO2. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. We will cover what is API prototyping, how API prototyping works in WSO2 API Manager, how to define sample or mock response payloads in Swaggers, how to create a prototyped API in WSO2 API Manager, and we will be going in depth into generating and modifying inline scripts, deploying the API as a prototype, and invoking the API. API prototyping is the process of testing out APIs without spending time on fully constructing a good-looking front-end or the complex logics of the back-end. This means the API returns static data which is not fetched from database or a dynamic data source. This allows publishers to learn as many practical insights as possible while spending as little time and effort. The prototype implementation in WSO2 API Manager gives users the ability to prototype APIs with inline scripts for testing and as an early promotion. This allows subscribers and consumers to try out and test APIs without subscriptions or monetizations, allowing them to provide feedbacks to improve APIs. The prototype implementation allows you to generate JavaScript code with mock payloads based on an API definition. This allows users to prototype APIs without having to manually write the JavaScript implementation for each resource. This works for both OS 2.0, formerly known as Swagger, and OS 3.0. Works for both response content types, application JSON, and application XML. Works for payloads defined in any format, such as referencing schemas or inline examples. Payloads defined for multiple response codes under a single resource will be generated. The lowest response code will be set as the response payload. There are quite a few ways in which examples or response payloads can be defined in Swagger. To get a better understanding on how to do this, I suggest that you look at the Swagger documentation for OS 3 and Swagger. If you wish to look at the documentation, I'll leave the links in the description of this video. The first step to prototyping an API is to create the API and generate an inline script. For this example, let's use the Swagger Pet Store. Let's copy the URL of this Swagger. And in the WS2 API Manager, click Create New API. Since you already have a Swagger, click I have an existing REST API. Let's paste our URL. Click Next. And here we see the name, the context, and the version has already been filled out. But since we are trying to prototype this API, let's get rid of this endpoint. Now click Create. Here we see the overview of our API. Click Endpoints. And under Prototype Endpoint, make sure Prototype Implementation is selected. Now click Add. Here we see all the resources of our API. Let's go to pet slash pet ID resource and expand it. Here we can see the script that has already been generated. We can straight away go ahead and prototype this API now. But if you wish to suit this to your requirement, you can modify it. So let me go ahead and add in my requirement and modify this script. As you can see here, I have modified the inline script to suit my requirement. What I've done here is I've added if conditions so that the user can enter a value for the pet ID and get a response according to what he or she entered. 
if the user entered 1, the response will be of type dog. If the user entered pet id 2, the response will be of type cat. And if the user enters pet id 3, it will be of type bird. Now that we have finished modifying our inline script, let's go ahead and save it. Let's scroll down and click save. The implementation has saved successfully. Now we have finished generating and modifying our inline script. For the second step, let's deploy our API as a prototype. Let's go to lifecycle and click deploy as a prototype. And now we have successfully deployed it as a prototype. The third step is to invoke the API. To do this, click View in Dev Portal. This will take you to the Developer Portal. Here we see the overview of our API in the Developer Portal. Click Try Out and navigate to the resource which you wish to try out. Let's click Pet slash Pet ID and click the Try It Out button. Here let's provide the Pet ID. If I was to provide 1 and click execute, I will get the response of information regarding the dog. If I was to enter 2 and click execute, I would get the respective response of cat information. And finally, if I was to enter 3 as the pet ID, I would get the information of the type bird. So we looked at how we can use the WSO2 API Manager to generate an inline script, modify it to suit our requirements, deploy it as a prototype, and try it out by invoking it in the developer portal. That brings us to the end of this video. To recap, we looked at what is API prototyping, how the WSO2 API Manager supports API prototyping, how you can define sample or mock response payloads in Swaggers, and how you can use the WSO2 API Manager to prototype an API. We went into detail of generating and modifying inline scripts, how to deploy the API as a prototype, and finally invoking the API. If you wish to look at the documentation of adding examples to Swaggers or the official documentation of this feature, I will be linking them down in the description below. Don't forget to like this video, comment and hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you get notifications of new videos as soon as they are uploaded. Thank you and see you in the next one.